Now we have created, in the West at least, but now all over the world, we have created a materialistic culture, culture centered around dead objects. Because a car is a dead object, a refrigerator is a dead object. And if you learn to relate to everything as cars and refrigerators, next thing you know, you're going to relate to your spouse and your children as dead objects. Our civilization is a, is a death cult. It's, it's built, constructed around death. It worships death. It worships the inanimate, inanimate, not animate, no anima, no life, no breath, no air. It's a claustrophobic civilization which surrounds you and buries you with objects. No wonder in many horror movies, objects are the main, the, the main threat. And you have even objects who come to life, like via ventriloquists. You know, dummies. So, dead objects, death cults, dead civilizations, these are thanatic, the expression of, the, of thanatos. They are thanatic, the expression of the force of death. And they're imbued with the pseudo. The pseudo is called the pseudo, not for nothing. It's destructive. It destroys. Our civilization is centered and focused not on construction, but on destruction. It's utterly shocking that we've come so far because we spend like 90% of our time destroying. Destroying each other, shooting each other, manipulating each other, destroying relationships, destroying love, destroying objects, destroying the enemy, making enemies, creating them if they don't exist. I mean, we, we, we are a warring, we are in, in constant conflict and constant warfare. It's our natural state. Peace is the exception. Construction, productivity, building something. That's the exception. Vast majority of the time, we are in the throes of frenzied, frantic, zombie-like, out of control destruction. And when we can't destroy others, we destroy ourselves. We consume drugs, we drink alcohol. These are not small numbers, by the way. 40 million adults in the United States consume alcohol to a destructive, self-destructive level. Obesity rates and so on, I need to tell you. We internalize destruction. What is cancer? Cancer is internalized destruction. I mean, we destroy the environment, the environment destroys us. End of story. What's COVID-19? We push the environment, the environment push, is pushing back. It's not metaphysics, it's not a metaphor. A report has just been released yesterday, linking intimately, leading chain with a chain of being, you know, with diagrams and everything, how A leads to B, leads to C, leads to coronavirus. This is all I'm doing. And so, dead objects in dead in civilization centered around death cater well to the needs of children who became adults and grew up with dead mothers this is why narcissists and psychopaths are on top of the world today and this is why women many are trying to emulate and imitate psychopathic men and this is why men many are radicalized in a variety of ways where violence is flourishing, etc. I mean, this is because the environment is permissive. It rewards these kinds of behaviors. It's a positive adaptation to be narcissistic like Donald Trump, half insane like Duterte in the Philippines, or Bolsonaro in Brazil, or a psychopath like Putin in Russia. It pays, absolutely pays. I see all these coaches, public intellectuals, uh, real psychologists, fake psychologists, real doctors, fake doctors, yes, fake doctors, I advise you to check. I see all these people, they are just encouraging narcissism. They are the prophets of narcissism. They profit from narcissism. They encourage the narcissism of victims. Have a, see the empath movement. This is, this is a narcissistic victimhood. They encourage collective narcissism, 
they are they are embedded in narcissism. They benefit from narcissism. They leverage narcissism. I, I don't see any incentive for anyone not not to cooperate not to collaborate and cooperate with narcissism and narcissistic trends and tendencies. On the very contrary, a society is built is an incentive structure that rewards narcissism richly. And so it's not it's not surprising that New Scientist has a, had a cover story in July 2016. Parents, teach your children to be narcissists. Truer words were never spoken. Have fun.